Stroud, co-host of Talkin' Angels radio show with Rita and Ann. Me and my co-host Ann Ford have been friends for very long, and it wasn't until very recently that we both discovered we loved angels. As I found out, we are able to communicate directly with our angels. It may seem strange to you, but each of us has angels, one, two, maybe a whole league of angels behind us at any given point in time. Angels are part of our lives, just like the air that you breathe, they're with you every single day. What is the purpose of an angel? Angels are here to assist humans in their daily lives and in helping them to keep on track with their life purpose. For many people, understanding their life purpose is just a dream. Trying to find a way to even live your life purpose or know what it is seems like such a challenge. But each of us is born with a purpose. And our purpose is determined before we even come down here to Earth to be incarnated as a human being. Each of us has a purpose and a unique quality that makes us different from everybody else. And our unique talents and abilities are what we are supposed to discover here and what we are supposed to share with our fellow human beings. Life may seem like a struggle, but that's just common perception. After all, your thoughts and your actions and your attitude determine what your reality is. And if that's the case, if you're experiencing anything that's less than spectacular, it's your responsibility to work on changing that. And you can. Take me, for example. I grew up the youngest of seven in a large Italian family. I had a very good upbringing, but really wasn't expected to do a whole lot after high school. Because my parents came from a different generation, girls were just expected to get married, and their husbands would take care of them. But when I graduated from high school, it was a much different world. Everyone was expected to take care of themselves. I didn't know what to do. I had no idea what I wanted to become or do or be. So I spent most of my life going from job to job and doing the best I could. My philosophy was to grow where I was planted. And I did. And I succeeded and achieved great success in the insurance industry. At one point I even owned my own business. But what I found was that no matter what I did, it seemed to be lacking in some kind of fulfillment for me. I never really felt comfortable in a business suit. I never felt like I fit in. Although I was amazingly good at interacting with people and connecting with people on a deeper level. I used to make friends with everybody, from the mailroom people to the CEO. It didn't matter to me what position a person held. I really didn't see them in any other way as just another fellow human being. And I knew I was different. Not everybody shared my same views. I started to feel like kind of an outsider, thrust into a world that just was alien to me. It wasn't until I actually got laid off from my job that I decided I was going to spend some time soul-searching and looking to see what it is that I really was here meant to do. And it was at that point that I realized my life is to be in the service of others. And I'm no expert. I'm just an ordinary person like you. But by devoting myself to understanding who I am, what my unique talents and abilities are, and working towards finding a way to share them with people, that I found true fulfillment. And I know that having a passion for something and working hard at achieving it is going to bring me success. I know that. I'm relying on God and the power of universal love to steer me in the right direction. But I've realized a couple things too. I need to do my part. I need to work just as hard as I'm asking the universe to work for me. And when you get uh, devoted to your passion, it doesn't seem like work. And when you're following your dream, 
It doesn't feel like hard work. It feels like something you're meant to do, and life becomes easy. It becomes simple, because you're not fighting against something that's not true to your purpose anymore. So if you're starting to feel like you just don't fit in, or there must be more to life than just getting up and going to the same old humdrum routine every single day. If you're starting to feel deep compassion, in particular when you watch the news, if you find yourself getting caught up in the emotion of the people that you see suffering, you're starting to awaken. You're starting to feel something more than you. And it's time to acknowledge that. It's your spiritual self, which has been asked to remain silent, unacknowledged, and unvalidated for too long, far too long. And I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about the reality that we are all both a physical body and a spiritual mental body. We have an emotional body. We have many phases to us. We are not just a simple organism that exists reproduces and dies. We are eternal. We share the divinity of God. We are God, each and every one of us. Every animal, every blade of grass, every rock has life essence in it, and anything that has life essence in it has God in it. It has a share in the divine. Think of it this way. If God could program a seed to grow into a great huge tree in its time, and if that tree instinctively goes through changes like in the fall when it loses its leaves, and then it rebirths again in spring, then what about us? Don't we have some kind of an innate program that's built into us? If we could just get out of our own way, it would allow us to, to grow in accordance with His will, and it would allow us to be free free of anxiety, free of stress, free of fear, living a life of freedom, fulfillment, abundance, and happiness, where creativity flows and laughter abounds. This is the world I envision, and this is the world that we want to create through Talking Angels. So support us today. Contact Talking Angels. Visit our website, www.talkingangels, that's T-A-L-K-N-A-N-G-E-L-S, Dot com and make a donation, even if it's five dollars. Whatever you can send is going to help us spread our message and keep us on the air. We need your support. We need you to be a spokesperson for us and spread the word. And tell us what you think. Give us ideas for shows. Email us with your questions. If there's a topic that's interesting to you, let us know what it is. If there's an author that you'd like to have us interview, Tell us who it is. We'll get working on it right away. You are what this show is all about. We are nothing without you, and we love you, and we're doing this for you to help you on your spiritual journey of discovery. So support Talking Angels today, and remember to tune in every Thursday from 4 to 6 p.m. and listen to me, Rita Strau, and my co-host, Ann Ford, as we help uncover the mysteries of life. Many blessings to you.